Hey everyone, it's Bucket. My real name's George, but we won't go there because my wife's first husband's name is also, yeah. Um, there's two reasons I'm making this video tonight. One, I've wanted to share with the world one of the most joyous things that I've found in the wonderful realm of life hacks as we have come to know them in 2019. And two, because, um, do you believe in ghosts? Okay, that can be another video. So let's get back to this video. Um, I just unbundled this little iPhone wire. I don't need it. I need it for the representation of what we're doing here. But um, And then there's the rubber band. See, looks, looks brand new, kind of. Um, so how I made that, well, first let me explain why I like it. They don't crack, they don't break. If you get the little beige 3M ones, they crack, they break on their own. And I have a lot of wires wrapped up. Some of them I don't need for years. And so I'm done dealing with those snapping, breaking, useless, weak rubber bands. Uh, three mil your rubber bands suck. Sorry. Um, but back on track. Go to Walmart, pay $2 for a bag of rubber bands that will break before you even get done using it. Or um, go back to the sporting goods section, find the bikes, you know, they got them up on the rack and grab a 20 inch inner tube for, or 12 inch inner tube for two bucks, okay? And then cut it, don't cut yourself. I've done that before, a bunch of times. Um, and then yeah, you take it, you cut, you kind of, I like to cut them out at an angle, don't ask me why. Um, but step one obviously is to figure out how wide you want it, grab a good pair of scissors and cut as much of an even rubber band as possible. Just do a couple here to demonstrate how easy it is. Use caution. Again, these are Fisker's titanium scissors. Self-proclaimed best scissors in all the land. Um, that's all I have left of my, you know, first version of it. But, yeah, I cut a bunch of them. You can see a bunch of them there on the table because I had cables I was kind of neating up. And, you know, there you go. Uh, there's our iPhone wire. Roll it up nice and neat. And... After you cut the rubber bands, I almost forgot. After you cut the rubber bands, what you need to do is roll it inside out, okay? And then, because your fingers are now on the clean spot, not that whatever that dust is, it's very harmful. To, I don't know if it's harmful, but I don't like to, you know, I'd rather flip it inside out. Seems like they stretch a little better that way, but give it a couple of stretches to get, the, get some elasticity. And I don't really have to do that because I'm wrapping up wires, but you know, once, twice, and if it's still loose, I, I'll go around a third time. I don't like doing that with wires. These are more likely to really severely constrict the wire than to break in the immediate term. I haven't had one break on me yet. So um, that's it, that's the life hack. Rubber band, scissors, cut it, flip it inside out. Make sure when you buy the inner tube, don't buy the one that has the slime preloaded in it um, or anything for that matter. But uh, yeah, other than that, sky's the limit. And if you have cables especially and you're tired of popping rubber bands, you don't want to zip time because you need to cut them or you know, snip them. Um, hopefully the... Uh, wires stay in good shape the rubber band doesn't break and you use reciprocity and pay the information forward and pretty soon we're all be making our own rubber bands you know we don't have to we don't have to rely on 3m their amazing product that since i guess they have the strangle hold on they don't feel compelled to improve that's not real rubber 3m and those rubber bands suck pay it forward